So we're standing here today in the Papadakis Integrated Sciences Building. And I'm standing right in front on the second floor in front of the bio wall. We're not only doing research on the bio wall, but we're using it as a tool for teaching our undergraduate and graduate students. My name is Siobhan Pianenden. I happen to be one of the faculty members in biology. And my research expertise is actually um, more plant-based and also more microbe-based. The bio wall is interesting because it has both plants and microbes in it. And what we're hoping that the bio wall will do is clean the organic compounds that are in the air in this building. So the bio wall is not really a wall. It's actually matting that so looks like these Brillo pads, like two of them in place. And you cut a little slit in the first Brillo pad and you put in your plant. And then from the top of the bio wall, what's coming down into the matting is this trickle of water. And the water has all the mineral nutrition that the plants will need to keep them growing. And what we're trying to do is to try and use the bio wall to sort of clean the air so that we have a much better indoor environment for human health. Dr. Waring's system in the Woodring building is actually an experimental simulation of the bio wall. And what's nice about it is it imitates everything that's happening with the bio wall except we can control the air, and that's important for us. So I'm Michael Waring, I'm an assistant professor in the uh, Civil Architectural and Environmental Engineering Department here at Drexel, and I'm doing research on the bio wall, and here we are standing in the Building Science and Energy Group Labs. Over here we have an experiment we're running with the bio wall project. Um, this is a project I'm working on with two biology professors, uh, Jake Russell and Shivanti Anandan in the biology department. And so what we're doing is we're looking at whether microbial communities on plant roots change in response to being um, challenged by different air pollutants. And so what we want to do is we're using this apparatus here where we have plants growing aeroponically in this system to determine how microbes change in response to pollutant loading. This should give us an understanding of the importance of the actual species of microbes that are removing VOCs or if there are other sort of genetic expression elements that are involved in that process as well. So this is that apparatus in a nutshell. Um, it's essentially just a chamber that we're growing the plant roots in, and then for each of those chambers where the roots are, we're able to um, pump VOCs into those chambers and then see how the system responds.